congratulations on the win. Um, how important was that victory to you and to the team? And now you're back in the top four. How big is it for this club to finish in the top four? Yeah, it's big, but we still have uh, quite a few games to play. Obviously, after the last three games with three draws, uh, two of them at home and in all three games being 1-0 up. This was a very important win and even more so after the first half of today. Today for a change we had a better second half than the first half um, and in the second half it paid off that we were more aggressive, that we were trying to intercept and to attack them in higher positions um, yeah, and therefore yes, a highly important win for us. Laurie Whitwell. Hi Ross. Um, what did you say at half time, mate? Because there did seem to be a noticeable change immediately after the break with the, you know, the winning the ball back high up. And if I may just ask a second question, you brought Alex Telks on um, on the wing um, late on. Juan Mata's on the bench. I just wondered he's not featured for a bit, Juan Mata. Is there any, uh, what, what are your plans for him this season, I suppose? Um, yes, uh, I mean, of course, we told them at half time. The, the question at half time was do we change formation or do we change the way that we attack and we decided to stick to our 4-2-3-1 um, and told our two wingers uh, Anthony Langa and Jaden Sancho to to on their on the ball side to attack the center backs um, and that would mean and that meant that our full backs had to jump jump to their to their to their full backs which which paid off both when we scored the goal but even more so when 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 we had that situation with Anthony Langa and the red card uh, for dunk um, yeah, and from then on, it was a different game. Um, of course, we could, should have killed off the game much earlier. Should have been three, four nil. And uh, again, there was uh, we were not quite, uh, yeah, convicted, or we were not, yeah, we were not lethal enough in those moments to kill the game off. And then again, at the in the last five minutes, uh, it's always dangerous, even against ten men. Uh, you can can see the goal. So it took very long until we what we took we took the game to bed with with uh, with Bruno's goal. To the second question, yes, of course, their right side with Lamte was the dangerous side with uh, Lamte playing up front almost like a right winger in the last uh, 10, 15 minutes, and that's why we decided to bring on Alex Teyes to support Luke Shaw on that side. Gary Cockrell. Uh, the opening goal, I just wondered everything you've seen in football, how you would describe Cristiano's goal, whenever he has his doubters, he delivers, doesn't he? Yes, that was a real, um, an amazing goal, uh, not only an important one, one, but an amazing goal, and I think overall it was also a good performance by Cristiano, energetically, he was he was uh, online, he was uh, always trying to help the other the teammates, so I think in the last weeks, definitely the best performance by him, and uh, yeah, and a very very important goal for us. Sam Lockhurst. Hi, Ralph. Um, we played with Paul Pogba's impact in that obviously he's been playing quite well in the first half recently, but he can come on and have a game-changing impact in the second half. You mean Paul? Yeah. 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 Yes, I mean, uh, I think also Fred in the second half uh, did well, but uh, obviously with one them being one player down, it was also important to keep control and possession of the ball, and that's why I decided to bring on Paul. But uh, since he was out for almost three months uh, with a long-term injury, I, I think it was good to rest him in the first half and, and have him available for the last half hour in today's game. Simon Peach. Hi, Ralph. Congratulations on the win. Sorry, I missed your first question, so apologies if you can ask this. But you've spoken a build up about your side being Jekyll and Hyde. Did you see more? Was it still too, a bit too Jekyll and Hyde for your liking? Yeah, it was different from the last three games because in the last three games uh, we, we were Dr. Jekyll in the first half uh, and this time in the second half. Uh, uh, but as I said, I think it's, it's better if we are in the second half when it's still nil nil, uh, um, when we can then win the game in the end. And, Today it was only about getting the three points, and uh, after the first half, everybody could see it was not an easy game. They are in form. They did extremely well with their diamond in midfield, and for us it was very difficult to intercept to get hold of the ball. We had three or four transitional moments in the first half, 
I think even in the first half we had the better chances, but they had far too often and for too longer, too long spe spells of time and periods of time the ball. And obviously, also the, sport, the, 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 the supporters realized that they were a little bit anxious and nervous in the first half, and that's why we had to take more risk in the second half and attack them in, in higher positions. Okay, last question from Sam Morton. Hi, Ralph. Could I, could I just ask what you saw sort of Brighton's performance, um, particularly in the first half? Obviously, they put you under quite a lot of pressure. I mean, they are probably one of the top three teams in possession of the ball, very possession-based. They do that with, uh, with a lot of conviction, with a lot of confidence. And, and as I said, it's not so easy. I mean, even teams like Liverpool or Manchester City were struggling against them. Uh, Liverpool at home, I think they, 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 they drew 2-2. Two -two. Um, and it's, it's difficult. I mean, you have to go all in and, and, and take almost every risk in order to attack them. Um, and that's what we decided in the second half to do. And that's why we got not only the goal, but also the red card. And that made things a lot easier for us, for us obviously.